Hello, everybody, and welcome to my unique weapon guide for the Pimpernel. Now, you will need the Captain, Scar Captain Scarlet and her pirate's booty to get this gun. And, like always, it comes if it comes in all four elements, I show you all four elements. And we have all four elements here because this is a Maliwan, which is all elements. No regulars. If you have a regular of this gun that is modded, throw it out. You don't want it. I wonder how it would work with uh, no elements, but that's okay. Now, to get this gun, you want to go to Washburn Refinery and head over to the Sensorbot guy. And you have to complete a mission to kill this dude called Pervy. And once you get that, you get a mission called Don't Copy That Floppy. And you do that, you turn it in, you get a Pimpernel. I get a slag version here. But again, I will be showing you all four elements, because that's just what I do. That's what makes my unique guides special, because I put all four elements out. And up there, there's a dude who needs to go as people needs him, but then he comes back down because no one wants him. But anyway, let's get into this. Now, the red text, sync me, it means when your bullets impact, it splits into five lower damage elemental energy balls that are cast out in a circular distribution parallel to ground from the point of impact for additional damage. That's what makes this gun a complete beast. Now, on initial inspection, the Pimpernel seems little different than any other blue rarity Maliwan sniper rifle, having the same base damage and accuracy. On its first use, however, the differences become quickly apparent. Each shot from the Pimpernel produces a scatter of five energy balls distributed evenly and horizontally parallel with the ground. I'm mean, reading the wiki here, so I kind of repeated what I read for the red text, but that, that's cool. Now, though each does a lower amount of damage than the initial bullet, the damage is dealt in addition to the base damage, the base bullet damage. As the damage of each energy ball is approximately one-fifth the damage of the bullet, this can effectively double the damage output of the weapon without factoring in critical hits. It also dramatically increases the chance of inflicting an elemental status effect, or even multiple status effects at once, and that is awesome. This gun is awesome. If you don't use it, and you can get it, get it. You won't be disappointed, especially if you love sniper rifles. This gun is a pimp. Now, the true advantage of the Pimpernel lies in its ability to strike a target for multiple critical hits with one shot. Using unconventional sniper rifle aiming techniques, a shot from the Pimpernel can strike the enemy once near the midsection and anywhere from one to five full times in the head area, resulting in multiple critical hits. Loaders are particularly vulnerable to this, as a shot to one of to one of the leg joints will frequen, frequently result in critical hits to the eye or arm joints. And that is awesome, and you will see that here in a second when I switch over to Corrosive, because if you guys seen any of my unique videos, you know I do Shock, Fire, and Slag first, and then Corrosive for the loaders. Now we head into the Friendship Gulag in a sec for that. Now, let's continue here now this weapon this this weapon if you get the gentleman's prefix you get plus 120 percent critical hit damage bonus and in my opinion that's what you want to go for i think only one of my pimpernels in this video have it but the thing is with that critical hit damage and if you manage to get all five orbs to hit a critical hit you know how like set you are that dude he won't he won't like last now, for smaller enemies, shooting low or near the pelvis area will usually result in two to three hits from the weapon. For larger enemies, such as badass constructors, Roscoe, or any larger boss, a direct hit with a Pimpernel may result in massive damage. Like, if you aim at the constructor's eye with this gun, you're gonna kill him in, like, a clip. Roscoe, I, I fought him. He didn't last past a clip, either. Just shoot him right in that vagina face of his, he's, he's done. But let's not get into that. The, the Pimpernel is also useful against enemies with defense against direct attacks with bullets, such as Nomad Taskmasters, or even Shield Surveyors. Now, what, li what I like to do sometimes is aim it at their feet, because if you, if you can see, like, if I... Let's see if I do it here. I think I'm just doing full contact here. But 
the bullet, it bounces up from where you hit it. So if you shoot at their feet, the bullet will bounce all the way up their body, which is awesome and sick. And see that critical? Bam! Bam, look at all this. And this is, he's not even slagged, too. I'm just having so much fun with this gun that I just forget to focus and I go down a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay, because this gun will pick you right back up. This gun is a pimp. Now, the if the bullet ricochets to an enemy due to Gage's close enough skill, the elemental balls will spawn from, this, from striking the enemy, not the original contact point. If used by a Gunzerker as the second gun while Gunzerking, it takes the element of the first gun unless it is explosive. Which, uh, I guess that's kind of cool. If spawned with the gentleman's prefix in the s and in slag elemental, the weapon will not list the additional 120% critical hit damage granted by the prefix, though it'll still be applied. And the elemental balls are affected by Zero's velocity skill, which will alter their deployment. In particular, this can make it more difficult to score multiple critical hits. So, you know, may want to stay away from that, but... The trivia for this gun, the name and flavor text of the gun is a reference to the fictional character, the Scarlet Pimpernel, an English nobleman who saved French royalty from the guillotine during the French Revolution, who occasionally exclaims, Sink me! The Scarlet Pimpernel! That sounds kind of cool. And this is one of Scarlet's guns. But now I'm going to show you the, how this gun fires, its damage, all that fun stuff. And as you can see, the balls, they just lash out from wherever you hit with. I'm not using gauge here, so I couldn't show you how it affects, how um, um, the close enough skill affects it. But that was the fire rate of it, me just holding down the trigger you saw a few seconds ago. Now let's show you this sucker's damage. I'm not too sure, no, the balls are not hitting him there, but, but if you aim for a direct critical, I don't think they will, it's kind of hard. I think one is, though, because there's five and only see four coming out, so... That's pretty good, but this is, this gun does all around good damage. You slag someone, which you probably saw earlier, you'll just destroy them. Like here, right here, slagging them. Look at that damage. That's pretty dang good. I'm not gonna lie. This is a beast pimpernel, and even Hobo Chicken up there agrees. I don't know if he does, but that's okay. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna head out of here. This gun's a beast. I hope you can get this. I hope we have the DLC for it, and I hope you have fun with it, because I sure do. Bye, guys.